Hi there, this is Anastasio Pantaleon Jr. here and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will be discussing the basic actual Rankine cycle. Just like the first video about the ideal Rankine cycle, there are four processes in this introduction. We will be learning about the difference in calculation, arriving to the thermal efficiency. So sit down and enjoy learning. So we have also four components. We have the thorbin, which is isentropic process. We have the condenser, which is a, a constant pressure or isobaric process. We have also the pump, which is at constant volume and isovolumetric. And we have finally the steam generator at a constant pressure or shall we term it as isobaric okay uh, if you wish to to see the link of the ideal processes in the Rankin cycle i have attached the link in the description below so first the steam coming from the turbine uh, from the a uh, steam generator at point one, like that. So we like here we take here as point one at a pressure of P one and a temperature of T one. So this is your say point one. Okay, we have your pressure one. Okay, so we have your temperature one here that I like this oh, let this just be accurate in the drawing or not so accurate that here the temperature one okay t1 okay uh i suppose you know how to find the enthalpy h1 and entropy s1 it's either you can interpolate it in the superheated steam table okay this is your s1 there s1 in the ideal process in we have to assume that s1 is equals to s2 however in the actual process as the steam okay enters the turbine there are losses and unutilized energy so as it goes out at point two given pressure two s2 is not equal to s1 anymore and the entropy increases let's say this one is your two prime okay we denote this as two okay the prime is the actual while the two or the real value of 2 is the ideal process and the steam expands at this at this okay pressure 2 but we have also to note that there are thermal oh no i mean uh turbine efficiency okay we have turbine efficiency of the turbine such that how do you find your point two? First, we have to take a look at point one t one we can derive h one and s one now at point two 
okay the ideal you have also your pressure two and first we have to assume that s2 is equal to s1 again we have first to assume s2 is equal to s1 okay and also therefore s2 is equal to s f2 at pressure 2 plus x2 SFG at pressure 2. Okay. That is a vital information so that you can find your X2 and therefore H2 is equals to HF2 at pressure 2 plus hfg2 at pressure 2 now how do you find the 2 prime okay the efficiency of the turbine is equal to h1 minus h2 prime over h1 minus h2 okay we take note that h2 prime is higher than h2 and when h1 minus h2 prime is conducted it is much smaller because the sub subtrahend okay is larger what we subtracted from the h1 is larger compared to the h1 minus h2 once again h2 prime is larger therefore a value minus a larger value becomes smaller compared to h1 minus h2 wherein h2 is smaller so the difference becomes larger at this point so therefore given the turbine efficiency we have h2 prime equal to okay transpose that we have uh, say H okay what's that multiplied and multiply by that H1 minus turbine efficiency H1 minus H2 okay just like that those also to find your x prime remember x prime or x is the quality x as you can see as the tor uh, as the entropy moves to the right so does also the quality x okay if you move it to the right your quality increases if you move to the left your quality decreases now in this process we saw that the quality moves to the right it increases along with s2 okay s2 prime in here we assume that s1 is equals to s2 in the actual process we have s2 prime has been moved and how do we find that simply by this one hf2 plus x2 prime 
multiplied by HF okay, G2. All of these at pressure 2. Okay. And since we already found the H2 prime, therefore we can find the X2 prime. Therefore, S2 prime is equal to SF2 at pressure 2 plus X2 prime multiplied by SFG2. Okay? Is that clear? Therefore, the work of the turbine is equal to H1 minus H2, I mean H2 prime. Here. Where is that? H2 prime. Okay, that's the work of the turbine. Now, the condenser is still isobaric. We have QR is equals to H2 prime minus H3. So at point 3, okay, we, we divide, a, we draw a line boundary. At point 3, there, this one at point 3, P3, H, no, P3 is equals to P2 because still uh, an isobaric process. Pressure 3 is equals to pressure 2. However, your H3 is equals to HF2 at pressure 2. Okay, this is your point 3. Okay, remember, we are now at actual process and hence H2 prime minus H3 is the heat rejection. Not anymore the H2 minus H3. Okay. In this process, because it is actual, we have H2 prime minus H3. Now, at point 4, okay, we, we label this one as H3 equals to HF at pressure 3 equal to pressure 4, a pressure 2. Now, since there are inefficiencies in your pump, we have that inefficiency of your pump okay it can also affect the uh, heat of your h4 at point four we go back to this one we'll find that v3 is equals to vf at pressure three which is equals to your pressure two Okay, we will be using that to find the work of the pump. Okay, I'll just give a little space here. Just delete this one first. Okay, so therefore, the work of the pump is equal to V3 uh, multiplied by pressure pressure 4 minus pressure 3 of course we all know that pressure 4 is just equal to pressure okay this is your pressure 4 at this point this is the constant volume line okay pressure 4 is just equal to pressure 1 and we divide that by inefficiency 
for the efficiency of the pump. Why do we divide that? Because if the pump is inefficient at a certain energy, in order to compensate the need, we have to increase the energy. Okay? And the pump efficiency is below 1. That is why if the pump efficiency is, say, 0 0.93, if you divide a value divided by 0 0.93, it is larger than the initial value. Okay? So, equal to H, okay, H4 minus H3. And those, you can find your H4 here by simply making this one H4 equal to H3 plus, okay, the work of the pump, okay, let's put this an A here to represent an actual process, okay, the work of the pump is simply equal to this one here, okay, including the uh, uh, pump efficiency. So therefore, you have the work of the pump A. Finally, you have your application of heat is just equal to H1 minus H4, okay, H4 prime okay let's let's label this as h4 prime h4 prime okay the h4 prime represents the actual enthalpy of the of the uh water coming from the pump coming from out of the pump therefore your work net is equals to work turbine okay let's designate this as actual letter a work turbine actual minus work pump actual and finally your thermal efficiency is equals to work net minus q a okay let's designate this as actual so a and those you can find your thermal efficiency in the actual ranking cycle hope you understand and enjoy the learning process thank you